In this cleverly made video, the real LAX momentarily for about half of the video, or most of the video in fact, disguises himself in darkness uh, to prove a point and to maybe put a subconscious message. The video itself is about an experience he had whilst working at the Santa Rosa uh, County Fair Park with fellow employees. It is a racial incident. Well, in this video, I don't want my face to be seen. At least not until the end of the video. Is this fair? Say, for instance, you worked as a temporary employee. And it also is a, um, a proof, because he can prove it, that the bitter experiences of the real AX immediately gets play on the medium of YouTube for the world to actually uh, see and also to make their mind up as he so uh, rightly states in that particular video. How far will a man go for respect? He will go until there's a light. He will go until he can be seen and heard. And once he's heard, then everybody will be able to see. No matter what color you are, no matter where you work and what you do, you have a basic human right to pursue, to pursue happiness. You should be given the opportunity based on time spent, time served, and deeds done. I don't owe anyone anything and I don't have any favors I can call in to get my justice. So the justice that I have to seek, I must create. And in this creation of justice, what do you think is going to happen to me? Because I've paid enough. Well, maybe you haven't paid enough yet. But hey, I don't threaten people. What I'm trying to say is this. Public opinion will be your judge, just like you or mine. So, hey, let all the people who want to scream the N-word at the fairgrounds, scream it loud. Be proud. Stand by your convictions. Because I will stand by your convictions, too. Thank you. This is the real AIX. Out of the dark and into the light. According to the words of the man himself, um, the reason he showed up on YouTube was uh, strictly for uh, his music uh, that he uh, creates or created in the past and still does to this day. But that was the reason is to um, put across his music and uh, see what people make of it. But again, uh, real life experiences uh, take precedent and have uh, done so. So this kind of set the precedent and also set the uh, mark bench and the bar, everything you can think of, to be the launch base for things to come. So this is only the bitter beginnings. What about the positive, the sweet side of the bittersweet? Well, that is very sweet indeed. Let's dive right in. Two years ago, those who uh, first started uh, following the real AIX by subscribing to him and wanting to hear what more he has to say after his uh, immigration video I think they would have been very glad to have seen the positive and uh, wisdom side or the wise side of uh, AIX rather than go down that uh, rabbit hole of hate so this video titled power does put it out there and puts him up there with, in the words of those who know him, with Greek philosophers. Greek philosophy eats your heart out. Here comes power. Power. What is power? Power to control people, power to tell people what to understand, power to shape people's minds. What is power? Who has power? I often tell people that the man in power does not actually wield the power. But the man who can manipulate the man in power to get what he needs actually controls the power. Do you believe me? I don't think you do. Because there are some people that are powerful 
that you see that they're powerful. But powerful in which manner? Powerful to control their jobs or their own fate? Power to control their own money? What is power? Like I said, the man in power does not actually hold power. It's the, ah, it's the people that can manipulate the man in power that actually control the power. So when you look at the presidency, what power does the president actually have? The president is a figurehead. He sits there for all his constituents to control. You have to look at it. the man or the woman who may be president of the United States this time around. How much power will they actually have? Do they listen to their constituents? Do they pay attention to the people who they're asking the votes for? Because since they want your vote, then what does that mean? That means you have the power. But a lot of people won't see it like that because a lot of people don't vote. Oh, they're just going to pick who they want to. They're just going to put the person in office who they want to. Yes, they will. They will. As long as you don't flex your power. Right now is the only time that you actually have more power than those people who are asking for you. They need you. They want what you got. Because each and every one of us Americans is a little battery. And they need that charge. They need that power. They need our okay to run for president. They need our okay to become president. They need our okay for the opportunity to be the president of our country. So who has the power? It would be fair to say that the illegal immigration video uh, controversy was being created at the time simultaneously as many of these positive videos or commentary videos were being made and it was building and building up until one day the straw that broke the camel's back was finally snapped and AIX felt he needed to make this response to that controversy I did a reply to black people must help illegal a uh, immigrants no I don't think anybody should help anybody illegal. Wait a minute. What about all those people who helped those black people on the Underground Railroad? Half the motherfuckers was mad because they couldn't own slaves no more. So if I can't own a nigga, nobody else can. Let's get these niggas the fuck out of here. I digress. Let me switch. Let me go back to something else now. So, I'm supposed to be this racist. Am I racist because I work for a Mexican man? I work at a Mexican company? I work for a Mexican restaurant, I'm racist because I see these hard working Mexican people look like a bunch of common fucking thieves when the next guy down the street wants to rob somebody or break in something or steal something or shoot and rape somebody and run back to Mexico. You always look at my friends like they the one that did it. No. 